Hi everyone, welcome back to Adventures of the Lupina channel. Today's video, I'm going to show you our garden, the, show you the fruit trees that we planted so far. Let's start with our pineapples. And then we have some here, the bell peppers that we're going to finish up before we leave. And I can pick one to show you how it looks. It's kind of too tiny. <laughs> we have bigger like this before. It depends on the tree. Some of it is healthy and some of it is not. And this one, we have this. I have a lot of this. This is a Spanish native bean. I don't know how you call it too. And this one you can put in the soup. Okay, now we are here to our lychee that we need to plant it. We have four different kinds of lychee. I will put to the description below what kind of lychee are this and our fruit trees, what kind of fruit trees we have. I'm gonna just write it down so you can read it if you can understand what I'm saying <laughs> because my mic is not really working real good especially when it's too windy and yeah and then let's check this thing and this one is a bean just similar with edamame or like snap peas this is philippine we call this um batao i don't know what it is in the english i'll show you what it look like when we pick one this is a look this is what it look like yeah and then now we're going down there this is the pathway going to the fruit tree so i here we have some pomegranates and this lime tree and i have here the oregano it's not looking healthy And now here, this is a lemon drop or a Garcinia Intermedia. We have two, one here and one right there. Here you can see. We have another one right there. I'll show you later because it's gone away too far. Now we're here in the Joboticaba fruit tree. This fruit tree is look just like grape grapes and the fruit grows on the bark and it's purple red. It's purple purple color. And now Okay, we're here now at the Spanish lime fruit tree. It is, you can call it Spanish lime in English and canepa on Spanish. This is a green shell and when you open it, it's kind of jelly and the taste is like sour and sweet. Try this one. This is our 
another pomegranate. The, we have different kind of pomegranate. I showed you the other one earlier, and this is another one. And now we are here on the Balimbi fruit tree. It is a uh, sour. You can use this for cooking or you can eat it plain with salt or sugar if you eat sugar. The fruit goes here, grows here, I mean, like grows on the bark. Then it's color green. We call this in the Philippines Kamias. And yeah, it is good. This is our tamarind. Tamarind can use by cooking or you can eat it raw. You can eat it ripe or unripe and you can use the leaves too for cooking. Now we are here on the plantain bananas area. We have a few bananas. This is a plantain area. now is santal. This is tropical fruit you can find in Asian. And I will put more description. I will just put the description below more about this. And let's go there. This one is a long quad. I'll just put the on the description again, what this taste like. This is a mulberry, mulberry. Mm. And we have here cacao. I think you know what the cacao is. We are here in the lemon drop or garcinia intermedia. Another one. I already showed you the two more there, and then there's another one here. We are here on another one mango. This uh, mango. And there, we have another one right there. Right there. It is a, read this one, Malika Mango, it is the Malika Mango. And now we're here, this is our avocado. It is a Doni avocado. Let's go there. And now we are here on the Barbados cherry tree. Look, you can see there's a fruit there. I, no, no, this is that's a flower. You can see the flower right there. And there's already have fruit. Look at tiny. I didn't have to hold Now we are here on the breadfruit trees. This breadfruit breadfruit tree are seeded, has seeds that you can eat. We call this in the Philippines rimas and there's so many ways how they call it like in Bisaya is bolo golo and then in Tagalog is rimas. Yeah, it's Rimas. <laughs> now we are here on the banana trees. We have few 
few, few kind of bananas trees. Um, one of them has, we have a uh, apple banana. <laughs> So now we are here in the Guayabana, Guayabana fruit tree. We call this in Philippines Guayabano. Just O is the difference. So this one when it has fruit, it grow here in the branches. Not in the branches, I mean. It grow in the here in the bark. And now we are here in the citrus area that we planted with grapefruits, oranges, lime, tangerine, and lemon. As you can see, both sides we have those citrus. This one has two already. This already has shown the fruit. So. Okay. And now we're gonna go over here. Okay, this fruit has a this fruit has grafted and we pick the fruits because they too young. They can't they has to be bigger before they go. You can see I picked one already. Yep. So we don't want that. If the the tree is small, we don't want to have the fruits because it's not gonna be good. You have to pick them, get them, and then when they're big, you can have it. And now we are here on our rambutan. We have four rambutan, four rambutan tree in one line straight to there. It's looking healthy. Now we are here on the last part of rambutan. And you can see the Okinawa sweet potato. This is when you eat it. But when you get the I meat, mean, it is a white. And when you cut them in the middle, it's gonna be look like purple inside. And when you eat it, it's sweet. Well, I'm gonna put the picture there so you can see what it look like. You can, you can eat the leaves of sweet potato, and you can eat the, what do you call that? The meat. When you, what do you call that? The root. The root. And you can eat the leaves. You can boil that or you can you can stir fry it. It's up to you, whatever you want. You can put in the shade. It is healthy. So yeah, that's our Okinawa sweet purple potato. here on the long gun tree. There's another one right there. Let's go. This 
is the another long gun we have. And then we have another one long gun here. This is a long gun. What kind of long gun it is? Koala. Koala long gun. Now we are here on the lychee tree that we planted. We have four more different kinds of lychee that need to be planted. We're gonna plant it before we leave. So, yeah. Java plum. In Philippines, we call this duhat. Yeah, it's gonna get big. I have some basil here too, and then some colantro. This is not the same with cilantro. We call this in culantro in Spanish. I don't know what's in English. And then I have some rosemary, more basil here, more basil there. I don't have to show that. Yeah. Our mountain apple. It was here when we got here, and when we got here, this has fruit. It was good, tasty. Yeah, look at that. Now I have some moringa there. Moringa can be used by cooking, can you be used by a shake, you can put in your shake. It was healthy and for cooking you can put in soup or you can stir fry it. And then I have some okra, there's a lime, and some bell pepper there again. And this one is growing, the citrus, big citrus. And when you look on that side, we have a lot of that's a lot of, what do you call that? It's a taro. Yeah. I have a lot of orchids. It's one line along the road, as you can see. Oh, nice. It's not season. There's, there is no flower. But there's one flower. Oh, here. Show you the flower. Look. Nice flower. Yep, I got a lot of orchids. So guys, that's our um, fruit trees tour. So far, that's what we planted this year. And next year, we're going to plant more. Because this land, that's land only we planted so far. We have to clean more. Because this, this property is too big. And if you don't understand what I'm saying <laughs> about the fruit trees, I can put the I can put about it on the description. I will explain more about it. So if you want if you want to know or if you are interested in the first trees, you can read about it more on my description. And yeah, the, I hope you enjoyed that video. And if you like that video, please subscribe and give me a like. Bye.